Does pregnancy change relationships and marriages? Let's talk about it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. To answer that question, I watched this really powerful talk mm. that Michelle Obama did on Revolt recently. Ooh, you I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm about. talking about. Yeah. And Kelly Rowland was on there, a few other ladies. I'm not going to name everybody, but it was really great. And Michelle Obama touched on one point where she said that children absolutely changes a relationship mm. or your marriage. Like there were 10 years well, I couldn't stand my husband. <laughs> you know, you do say that. You say that. Ten years, <laughs> and guess when it happened? When those kids were little, right? Yeah. Right, because you know you can be all great individually when you when you're just married. You got your life. He's got his. You come together. It's all ooh, good to see you. Bye. Take it easy. <laughs> and then you have kids. Not take it easy. Take it easy. You're traveling. That's great. Good. I get to hang, hang out and watch the TV I want to watch. Right. But the minute we had kids, it was like, where are you going? <laughs> and how far? And you start measuring. It's like, how many diapers did you change? And oh, you're golfing. Yeah. Oh, you got time. Oh, you got time to golf. <laughs> how you at the gym all the time? I Why you in my brain right now? No. No. I'm like, that's when, all, that's when all the measuring starts golf. because you got this project. Yes. And guess what, little kids. They're terrorists. <laughs> they are. They 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 have demands. Oh they don't you talk. Right. They're poor communicators. Yeah. They cry all the time. They're yeah. irrational. They're, yeah. They're, They're selfish. They're selfish. <laughs> and you love them more than anything. anything. Oh. Yes. And so you can't blame them. No. Right? Because look, they're cute. And he's so cute. <laughs> and look at him throwing his plate. That's so cute. <laughs> so you turn that ire on each other. Yes. You know, and for 10 years while we're trying to build our careers and, you know, worrying about school and who's doing what and what, what you know, I was like, oh, this isn't even. No, right. And that guess what? Life Marriage life. isn't 50-50 yeah. yeah. ever, yeah. ever. There are times I'm 70, he's 30. There are times he's 60, 40. But guess what? 10 years, we've been married 30. Wow. I would take 10 bad years or over 30. It's just how you look at it, mm. right? And people give up for the set, five years. I can't take it. How it do you bad. know? What is the, because sometimes you got to know your person. Do you like mm -hmm. him? I mean, you right. could be mad at him, but do you still look at him and go, I, I'm not happy we with you, have, but I respect you. Mm -hmm. I, I don't agree with you, Yes. but you, but you're, still a kind smart person yes. the feelings are going to change over time right yes. you're not going to always be <gasps> so the minute that goes people want to give up on it it's true but now you're in the work you're in the work of it and that's why i want to talk about the work of it the work of any relationship the work of friendship you may have a year where it is really rough but she wouldn't have traded the bad years that she had for the 30 years that she's been married to Barack. Wow. And it was really powerful because she really touched on how you're going to go through so many trials and tribulations throughout yeah. your relationship and marriage when kids and pregnancy are involved because it's no longer about you and your partner anymore. Right. The dynamic of your relationship right. has evolved so much to where you're not just thinking about yourself. And not only are you not thinking about yourself, the percentage that each person in the relationship is pouring into the relationship or pouring into nurturing this child yeah. isn't always going to be balanced. It's not going to always be 50-50. Yeah. And she touched on two points that really resonated with me. Mm -hmm. The first one was when she was talking about challenges in the relationship mm -hmm. and how she did. there was a year, a year or two of her not really liking she Barack. actually said it was she, 10 years she said that's what i was gonna say <laughs> she didn't say one or two years she said, 10, she said years. 10 years yeah can you imagine that i mean 10 years where things are a little rocky in your mm -hmm. relationship but she still stuck through see that's the incredible thing about marriage like mm -hmm. when you commit to somebody there might be times where you're not really liking this person or you might mm -hmm. not you know rock with everything that they're that they're doing mm -hmm. but in marriage you stay committed and you and you realize what the end game is you realize that this journey is long and yeah. that there's going to be so many emotions and you know you're two different people mm -hmm. so there's going to be two different ways of doing things and yeah. and operating through life and 
no matter how great your relationship is, there's always going to be two different mindsets. Essentially, because yeah. we are not we are not the same. We try to be we, as symbiotic as possible, but at the end of the day, it's two people making whole decisions. Right. And, and there's going to be clash when it comes to that. There's going to be conflict with that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. How we operate, how I operate is not going to be the same way that Jen operates. Mm -hmm. And I really found that really very interesting that she said there was 10 years, but they've stuck through it. So that was point. point, Yeah, that was that was point one. But I think with that so that people don't get that misconstrued, at least they had challenges, but his character didn't change. You know, his his habits um that deep that deeply roots him to his core did not change right, so right. i think that's so important to highlight because yeah there are going to be some days where i don't like you but i don't hate you right. you're not cutting me to my core yeah there's no you're not there these aren't things that are red flags it's like hey i need to get out of this because i think those those can be two very different things yeah it's a fine line it's a fine so, line yeah and that's a great point mm-hmm. because michelle did touch on that and Mm -hmm. how you know do you still like him Mm -hmm. do you still love him Mm -hmm. and i think we'll we're gonna have to link this this video at this point because (laughs) because that was so powerful and obviously michelle and barack are inspirations yeah i mean everybody looks at them their relationship and they're like man that's goals Mm -hmm. you know and for michelle to be so candid and so open with that and look at it like, wow, y'all really went through a struggle for 10 years. Mm-hmm. That really can help people yeah. in the long run because it's like, okay, it's not that easy. Mm-hmm. It's not that easy. And, I and think definitely it, kids yeah. make it different. Yeah. And so going back to this point about kids, the reason why Michelle and Barack said that, or Michelle said that there were mm-hmm. so many issues in the early stages of the, their marriage was because of the kids. Yeah. It was a comparison game for mm-hmm. her almost. And she had to get out of that comparison game by mm-hmm. saying it has to be 50-50. Mm-hmm. You know, some days you're going to give 60-40 mm-hmm. or 70-30. And you have to be okay with that because yeah. that is what parenting is. That's what marriage is. Mm-hmm. And not everything is going to be 50-50 not straight down the, the line. Yeah, and I think it was also eye-opening for us too, like mm-hmm. seeing that because as you said, we look at them like they are goals, they're inspiration. And, you know, we, we hold their relationship to a high regard as most people do, but it shows that they're human too. Right. And they go through these everyday challenges, just like the rest of us. And it also prepared us to like, Hey, we are preparing yes. for a baby in the same way we share our videos with you guys and hope that you can use this as you're preparing. We're using her video as preparation. Yeah. Like, yo okay this is something that we need to be mindful of how can we how can we tackle this a little more proactively so we're not unhappy per se maybe for 10 years but we know that there may be a stint where we're going to go through a rough patch right and looking at that can show us like okay we need to start having conversations about this early so we can prepare so when these challenges do arise we remind ourselves like hey remember was not always going to be 50 50. You know, there may be a season where it's 70 30, it's 60 40, right. et cetera. But we're not going into it blindly because yeah. I think oftentimes um, having parenthood and going through pregnancy is a beautiful thing. Right. But from what I've seen from my family and friends and stuff, it's hard as hell. Right. And it's not always you know, glorified right. and it's not talked about and you just see all the great things, but you're not really exposed to the challenges that come with it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I think out of any relationship advice that I've ever heard, I'm mm-hmm. not even going to lie. That clip that Michelle said impacted me the most of mm-hmm. any relationship type of advice that has ever been given. I think I resonated with that the mm-hmm. most, maybe because I'm we're going through this that's about to have a baby mm-hmm. right now. So for her to say, you know, those the most challenging years were the years when the baby was young, when mm-hmm. when her when the kids were young. Mm-hmm. And I look at that, but I, I look at it from a, a space of, okay, now I can take those words from a, a couple that I'm really inspired by and I can use that in my advantage to not have 10 years where mm-hmm. it's a challenge. Mm-hmm. I can cut that down to, you know, maybe a season or mm-hmm. so. Mm-hmm. And go back and revisit that that clip that Michelle yeah. said and say, 
okay, I know that there's going to be these challenges of comparison. Yeah. Like, oh, why is Jen doing it this way? Or, oh, sh- you know, Jen... Jenna, like Shane Jen, get to go to the gym, but I've been stuck in the house with the baby right. all day. Like, you know, and yeah, not and, and, and honestly, doing that comparison comparison game. And honestly, I think that will become some, t- some type of an issue at some point. It's because, inevitable. Because I am really heavy into working out and I mm-hmm. work out every single day almost um, now. And this is before the baby. And I really don't want to stop the, that routine mm-hmm. when the baby is here. Obviously, you know, my free time is not going to be as as uh available mm-hmm. anymore but i still want to make sure that i'm healthy of and course that i am doing everything for my own mental and physical health of course because a healthy um, you is a healthy father right. you know you have to so, make sure you are well so you can be well for your kids exactly so i don't want to be able to i don't want to give up that that lifestyle that i've right. grown into this healthy lifestyle but i realized that you know there will be times where you might look at it and like dang, you've been at the gym for an hour and I've been over here with the baby, you know, feed, feeding the baby, mm-hmm. you know, burping the baby and mm-hmm. all that stuff. And that's just one example, yeah. you know, the gym. Or just, yeah. But I mm-hmm. mean, it's just like, these are the type of things that we can now look at and say, oh, there might be some... Seasons where there's imbalance. And I think it's more so both people being mindful of that. Yes. And mindful in the aspect of, yo, okay, it's been a season of things being unbalanced where Jen is pulling more of the weight than I have been. And I'm aware of that. Right. What can I do to still do things that make me happy, but also gives her the release that she needs as well and support the needs of our baby as well and and vice versa. And it all comes, Mm -hmm. and it always comes down to communication. Yeah. Always comes down to communication. And what you said is being mindful. Mm -hmm. Both people have to be be mindful. Mm -hmm. You will be more mindful because you're the mother you're like you're, you're gonna be the the very nurturing one i'm gonna be nurturing too yeah and there's also but, just things that I, that my body is doing to actually ensure that the baby is healthy like breastfeeding and right. things like that but there are things that you can do too. not you know this is just specific to this one example that i'm giving but let's say okay yeah i'm breastfeeding but if i'm pumping and we take turns so it's like okay jen can rest there's a a bottle in the fridge that she already prepared let me warm that up and i'll i'll take turns or i'll do nights or something Mm -hmm. feeding the baby and then you know she can breastfeed in the morning just like that's just an example of just being mindful and not only being mindful and communicating but once you've done that actually acting on it yeah and putting action behind these conversations and mindfulness because actions always speak louder than words exactly exactly so I mean, kind of to wrap it up, because this is this is a great candid mm-hmm. conversation. We mm-hmm. just did this video on the fly. Yeah. Um, but in short, yes, pregnancy but, and children does change yes. a relationship. But I think I oh. wanted to say one, oh, one go thing. Ahead, sorry, I wanted sorry. to make sure that we touched on the two points mm-hmm. that really can help a situation when it comes to the babies being young and, and trying to get through the challenges that come with mm-hmm balancing the relationship in the marriage while balancing early adult uh, parenthood Mm -hmm. and that's having good communication number one and being mindful both people being mindful and both people communicating well together those two things will alleviate a lot of pressure that both people feel it will relieve a lot of conflict that Mm -hmm. both people will have and it's inevitable because like we said we're two different people and there is going to be two different ways of operating and and, uh, thinking but with those two things we truly can get over any hump that we have or any you know season of like difficulty right right um yeah so is there anything you want to add to that yeah in short pregnancy and children does affect and, and change your relationship and marriage. And I think when you throw in, like you said, mindfulness and proper communication, that ultimately dictates how it will affect your marriage and relationship, whether it's positively or negatively. Right. And you're going to have seasons where you have a little bit of both. But to go in thinking that the relationship that you had previously is going to continue throughout you know, you also have to go in knowing that things will change because it's not just you and him or you and your partner or just two people anymore. Yeah. You now have someone else that is involved that also 
helps not not dictate i didn't want to say dictate but that also affects your relationship yeah and you have to to be mindful of that but ultimately communication and mindfulness and how you act on it is going to ultimately affect whether it uh, impacts your relationship in a positive or negative way amen so barack and michelle thank you (laughs) if you happen to see this which (laughs) is a shot in the dark but (laughs) If you happen to see this, just know that you got a couple here that is inspired by you and everything that you've meant to this country and to black couples out here. Black love, man. (laughs) And uh, and the whole talk, the whole talk that Michelle did on Revolt was really good. We are just pointing out a specific piece, like clip of it. Um, But I would definitely or we would definitely encourage you guys to to give that a listen. And we will link it in the description down below. So go check that out. Yes. And this is just another conversation, candid conversation that we're having about pregnancy and about love and about relationships and marriages. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue to do that. So stay tuned and like and subscribe. It really helps with the algorithm. And we're going to sign off for today. My name is Shane. And I'm Jen. And this is The Yambors. Bye, everyone. Enjoy the journey.